Renewable chemistry, how can we speed up? Hi, my name is Mark Meyer of BSF, and BSF wants to be nothing else but the thought leader when it comes to sustainability in chemistry. Come join us today for a seminar here at the World Trade Center. There's virtually no industry, no application in today's life that is not touched by any of our products. So that's why we think this conversation, this topic is, is very, very important. And actually as BSF we are quite convinced that wood as a raw material for the chemical industry offers a lot of possibilities. And why that is, I want to show you within the next 20 minutes. What about the bus itself? What about the materials in the bus? And what about the plastics, the textiles, everything? However, I always say, since I do represent the purchasing side, that we cannot produce sustainable products without sustainable components. So, so how can the forest industry contribute to, to a fossil-free society? We developed and presented a roadmap for fossil-free competitiveness earlier this year. Now welcome uh, the um, one, two, three, four, fifth speaker. And we will be one of the first fossil-free welfare nations. Because if we can do that, we can show other countries that it's not a conflict to be fossil-free and to increase the welfare. And I totally agree that we have to have long-term regulations and uh, not focus on different materials, but we have to have on EU level a regulation that is focused on recyclability and circularity. So we have very high goals and, and a lot of things has been done. Uh, I think it's very important to also continue those big ambitions. So the future is here, we can do it. We have the technologies and we are not the only ones. There are a lot of technologies actually using resi residues out there. So we were wondering at BSF, what can we do to speed that process up? Is there a possibility to use the existing infrastructure, the plants that we already have? I was really surprised by how much this goal of fossil-free Sweden really encourages the thinking in the Swedish society of the different stakeholders uh, within Sweden, different industry players. And I really had the feeling that this will uh, yeah, build a positive climate also for innovation. Olika typer av aktörer börjar öppna upp nu och börja tala om värdekedjor, om att man behöver samarbeta, att man behöver liksom ta risker på ett lite nytt sätt. Det jag tar med mig idag är att de här värdekedjorna som behövs för att få det att hända är närmare oss än vad vi trodde. Därför att här idag var ju de som vi behövde. Det är väldigt spännande att vara på det här konferensen och seminariet som visar ju på att vi nu går ifrån det fossila till det förnybara och att man har tagit kraftfulla kliv i att ta in mer förnybart. Och vi behöver ju mer av kanske marknadssupport och även politiska regelverk som gör att det blir mindre risker. Det här är ju bara en bekräftelse på att vi är på rätt väg och att de här utmaningarna är där och att de måste lösas. Jag tar med mig en framtidstro att det finns verkligen saker som vi kan göra från politikens sida. Det handlar dels om tillgång på dagvarumarknaden när det gäller skogen men också att vi behöver ha långsiktiga spelregler. The chemical is then burned and produces the energy, yeah? that, that kind of solution. But this will only develop if we leave this playing around open. Uh, the two blocks have the same targets. Mm -hmm. They reduce also the risks. What is the role of, of those guys over here now? What can we play over to their side? We're depending on a policy from the politicians that, that we need to use an understanding and promoting the use of wood. We have um, two questions uh, or three. There is no disruption. It's here. Mm -hmm. That's the first bit. I think it's very exciting when you say, come to us. For it's precisely what it's about. And we experience that the industry already does a lot in this area. Svensk, long-fibrig, tall and grain have a very, very good resource in which we can use on many ways. And not just make a paper mask, but we can use it to make plastic and waste. Biomaterials, the molecules that we have, will be used first in first hand to use material. Så därför tyckte jag väldigt bra att det diskuterades. Vad finns det för incitament för oss som tillverkar material att att göra det? I'm I'm really trying to encourage you know to come to us to suppliers in the value chain. I have this idea. You know how can we deal with it? Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. What I found very impressive was the number of stakeholders and from the value chain that we really had together, who could all individually contribute really to the topic. And you can see how the challenges of 
bringing um, renewable materials into the value chain uh, through partnerships is really a value chain challenge. And, and I felt that we could add value uh, to the conversation. So I'm sure we're going to do this again.